What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be talking about the iOS 10 jailbreak. What's the most up to date jailbreak? What firmware should you be on? Should you downgrade? Should you upgrade? All that good stuff. So hopefully I'll be answering a lot of questions within this video. So first off, it is Monday, May 15th. If you're watching this in a month, this video is probably out of date. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any news about jailbreaking. Like I said, in a month, this is probably out of date. But anyways, uh, iOS 10.3.2 has publicly been released uh, as of this video. So if you guys don't care about a jailbreak, go ahead and update to 10.3.2. There's no major uh, you know, update in it. It's mainly just bug fixes and performance improvements and stuff like that. Uh, nothing major in the update. So again, like I said, 10.3.2 is out. Now, for everybody else uh, that is wondering, you know, what firmware should you be on? Should you upgrade to 10.3.2? Should you upgrade to 10.3.1? Stay at, you know, 10.2.1? Uh, it's really hard for me to say what to do. Um, I always like to say just stay at the lowest firmware possible. That's usually to better your chances of a jailbreak. But, you know, you never know with jailbreaks when they could come out and what firmwares they could be for. Um, hopefully, Pangu, in my opinion, hopefully they release it for 10.3.2. That would be the smartest move that Pangu could do is to release a jailbreak for the most up-to-date version of iOS. Uh, but, you know, generally speaking, you usually want to stay at the lowest firmware possible. Uh, so you guys can either, you know, go from 10.2. Uh, 0.1 to 10.3.1 or to 10.3.2. It's totally up to you. I don't want to influence your decision too much just because if I'm wrong, I'll get a lot of heat because of it. Uh, so like I said, generally speaking, stay at the lowest firmware possible. Uh, for those of you wondering what is the most current jailbreak, what devices can be jailbroken on what firmware as of this video, well, I'll leave a list in the description, but it is iOS 10 through 10.1.1 for the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus, and 10.2 for all other 64-bit devices. I'll leave it listed in the description. That's a very common question. People ask me, what is the most current jailbreak? So again, like I said, it's listed in the description. Now, on another note, if we take a look at uh, the security content of iOS 10.3.2, uh, you know, what there is not found in here is a co uh, contribution from Pangu and any exploits or any bugs or anything like that. So uh, if Pangu really does have a jailbreak, which I believe they do, they did not sell out or give it to Apple at all. So that's a very good thing to note about 10.3.2. Uh, like I said, this is the security content of iOS 10.3.2 and nowhere in here is there anything from Pangu. So that is actually some very exciting news. And like I said, if Pangu does have a jailbreak, hopefully it is compatible with iOS 10.3.2 as this is probably the last update to iOS 10. Uh, they're probably going to be focusing uh, you know, on iOS 11 at this point. So this is the time for Pangu to release a jailbreak. iOS 10.3.2 is the best bet. Very similar to iOS 9.3.3 when they released that jailbreak about a year ago. Uh, so that's pretty much all the info I got for you guys right now. I just wanted to clear up some questions that you guys might be asking. Uh, so hopefully I did that within this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.